Hey y'all, it's me. This is going to be short. This is about uh, the Neon Genesis Evangeline original soundtrack from the 90s anime. Uh, years later, from I guess 15 years ago, I am still hearing a lot about how quote pretentious unquote the original soundtrack was because they used classical music in a lot of their scenes. Now, it's to my understanding that back in the day before people really knew about stuff like how intense animes like psychological animes could be and it was psychological and combined with shonen so that was like probably really iffy territory at the time uh it's kind of like um neon genesis evangeline is to japan as beetlejuice is to america like um you know people didn't know them and they gotta you know be careful where they put their money and whatnot but the difference between what happened with Tim Burton is that they really went out on a limb for him they gave him what they could and Beetlejuice is like a fucking masterpiece and Michael Keaton did a great job and everything not saying that Evang Evangeline didn't it's just that they didn't get the budget or they couldn't get the budget for whatever reason and whatever money they got of course they had to spend on animation and effects and everything else that goes into making an animation and I have no frame of reference for how much something like that costs none at all so I absolutely commend them for what they could do and if anything had to take a cut it would have had to be the music that was the right call because with classical music uh, a lot of it falls under this copyright clause where you can freely reproduce it and redo it or whatever you don't have to pay anybody so that was the best call on that one because they could still like of course they have to have their own few songs of whatever they could manage and then the rest would be like m mood music and mood music is very important lack of m mood music can ruin a thing so they did what they could. I don't think it's pretentious. I think it was a I think it was a very tactful strategy actually. If I remember in that situation, I'd probably make the same decision. But uh I think that before we I think that before anybody tries to try to be so harsh with their judge judging this nature, they should actually be more mindful of how expensive things can be well, in this case how expensive things can be uh, time and energy resources and stuff like that that the people or persons may have had at the time for what they were doing even back in the 90s there was well there's plenty of things that are considered expensive everything has their own different range of expensive now but I'm sure it was still quite the pretty penny for what they had and for 24 episodes plus two or three movies I think there's one movie people don't talk about for some reason for back then, it was a it was a big deal. It was a thing. But fast forward years later, now look at it. Eva's blowing up everywhere. It's like a phenomena. It is a phenomenon. Ava's the shit now. There's like there's you can't really go to anybody in the animated universe that doesn't know about it. Whether they like it or not, they know about it. So, I mean, apparently it was worth it. And so far from what I've seen from clips I haven't heard seen where they or heard where they use classical music so they have their own budget for that now obviously even though it's weird but <laughs> it's, it's what it is so I just wanted to say that I'll talk to y'all later